Hi, and welcome to video 8 in the Ableton Tips and Tricks video series. Today I'm going to be showing 10 hotkeys and shortcuts in Ableton Live 9. What hotkeys enable you to do is speed your workflow considerably as opposed to going to drop down menus again and again. Especially if you're doing the same task on a repetitive basis and you know for a fact you're going to be doing it many, many times during your session or working on a track, this is going to speed your workflow greatly. And the other part to this is that by knowing and memorizing hotkeys, you allow the workstation to think with you and not against you. So that being said, let's get started. The first I want to show is duplicate. So in this case, I have a drum clip from an Ableton lesson, but let's say I want to duplicate it, I press Command D, and that will duplicate the clip exactly as you see it. Next I want to show the clip and track view. So right now I'm in the, the track view, but let's say I want to go to the clip view and see my MIDI, I press Shift Tab, and all my MIDI is right here. If I want to go back to my audio effects, I press shift tab again, and back to my track view I go. The next I want to show is consolidate. So let's say for example, I have my whole drum groove for the entire track laid out, but I want to make it a full stem. I highlight the track and I press command J, and this consolidates it into one full audio stem but notice that the groove for each part of the track is completely intact. It's not changed or looped for one specific clip. It is all intact. And that's really useful when you start wanting to send in stems to get mixed by an engineer, for example. Another handy feature is loop selection. So let's say I want to start mixing the everything section in this track. I press Command L and instantly you see brackets go up. And what this means is that also, when loop is enabled, it will loop this part of the track only, and only this track unless I specify otherwise or unloop it. Next is group, and for this I'm going to go to live's session view. So let's say I want to group all of these. I select all of them and press Command G. And this is extremely useful for grouping things like drums or synthesizers or instruments that are very similar to each other because you can actually mix all of them with one fader and get the levels. Once you have the levels correct, you can move one fader up and down to get the, the exact level of all the instruments you want. It also helps for organization's sake. For example, the drums are already grouped because this is a, a drum rack. All of these are grouped together into drums, so I can move each fader independently. But once I've got the drums set where I want them, I can move one fader to get the entire drum group where I want it in my mix. Another minor hotkey is rename. So for example, I can press Command R and I'll just rename this synth. We'll go back to the arrangement view. And let's say I want to widen the grid in the arrangement view. By doing this, I can do so by pressing Command 2. And this will widen the grid if I want to narrow it. Command 1. Another handy feature is if you have a third-party plugin instantiated. Let me enable that. So right here I have Camel Audio's Alchemy, but let's say I want to hide it, but I don't want to close it and move my mouse. What I can do is go to my keyboard and press Command-Alt-P, and that will hide the plugin. But if I want to open it again, Command-Alt-P, and it opens it up again. Another feature is pasting time. So what I'm going to do is highlight this piece of empty time, press C 
Command C to copy that. And let's say I want to extend the intro. What I can do, I can either highlight this and duplicate it, or what I want to do is if I want to change something in the second part of this track, I can, after copying the time, press Shift, Command, V, and that will not only give me extra time in this part, in the drum section, but on the entire track itself. So that's really nice. The last hotkey I want to show is bypassing clips. And the way you do this is by simply pressing zero. Now by deactivating clips, what this allows you to do, rather than having to go back and forth and turn the track on and off, what I can do is just deactivate clips. And this is actually great for a technique called subtractive production, which I'm going to talk about in a later lesson. And this is great if you feel that a piece of the track itself is not working, and you can simply disable it and see if it actually helps the track or hinders the track. So that is 10 hotkeys and shortcuts in Ableton Live 9. And that concludes this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, and thanks for watching.